Kanji Kanji. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Um, it's been a while since I last did this particular type of conversation with you. Well, today I'm going to talk about the reasons as to why people divorce. In, um, why do we see most couples divorcing or most couples separating from each other? Why do we see most couples separating from each other? Well, before I start, this is kind of my favorite spot in this whole apartment area. So, um, today, basically going to look at the reasons as to why people divorce or why couples separate, why they don't stay long, longer with each other, yet they make vows. One of the reasons is um, social class. Uh, sometimes couples think they're better than others, you know. It's something that usually affects couples. When your partner thinks he or she is better than you, there is no way that relationship is ever going to last. It is something that affects even us as human beings. When you find a class that doesn't belong to you, you tend not to relate so much with them. You know, there is a saying which was class attracts class. So if you do not belong to a certain type of class, you are not going to be, you know, part of those kind of individuals or part of that society. Another reason is... Um, lack of communication you know communication is very important in each and every relationship uh, most of the relationships lack communication you do not communicate with your partner you have a problem you want to solve it by yourself how do you think the relationship is ever gonna last there is no way trust me you ever gonna keep up with that relationship another reason comes in lack of sex <laughs> lack of intimacy wow mother duty calls okay i will do this one with you now you also have come part of it lack of lack of, uh, with lack of intimacy when there is no sex in each and every relationship it won't last you know there is that kind of connection sex brings in a relationship even after every i mean even after an argument and you have sex oh the 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 anger proceeds to go away uh you feel fresh everything is refreshed so it is very important for couples to have sex in the relationship to keep together not to divorce another reason is okay <laughs> mother duties were calling for me um we we finished with um lack of intimacy uh, the last point is um oh, we finished with intimacy the last point is um domestic violence well, domestic violence comes with a lot of um, things that accompany it. Um, under domestic violence, we cannot have arguments as part of domestic violence because for every couple, there is a certain level. Of, um, wow, sorry about that. There's some construction going on in the neighborhood. So, I was saying, local, um, domestic violence is. Uh, we cannot categorize arguments under domestic violence because it is very normal for all couples to have arguments although to a certain limit it is not healthy for you to have arguments from morning to evening from night to morning it is just you know a certain limit of arguments as a couple can have you don't have um, if you you do not have 
argument as a couple. It is not normal, so <laughs> every couple has to have arguments. But domestic violence is something else. So domestic violence also can lead uh, couples to divorce. In other words, or in my conclusion, I would say if you are a couple and you are facing any of those red flags, it is better for you to look for counseling advice. You talk to friends, you talk to relatives, you talk to individuals who are older than you. Probably they would have something to advise you. And this closes today's conversation. Bye bye. See you in the next one. Love you. Say bye bye to the camera. Oh, my kids are so good. They've been so good throughout my entire talking. They didn't make noise. They're so good. You're so good. Eh? Say thank you to the camera. Bye bye.